if you listen to our president, eh, it doesn't really impact anybody. Nobody, um, nobody really uh, gets it, according to uh, Donald Trump. Here is uh, Donald Trump in, I guess he was doing a rally. Oh, where is this now? Um, oh, this is, yeah, here it is. He says it affects virtually no one in a Toledo, Ohio rally. Oh, the disease, we didn't know it. Now we know it. It affects elderly people, elderly people with heart problems and other problems. If they have other problems, that's what it really affects. That's it. You know, in some states, thousands of people, nobody young, below the age of 18, like nobody. They have a strong immune system. Who knows? You look at you. Take your head off to the young because they have a hell of an immune system. But it affects virtually nobody. It's, a, it's an amazing thing. By the way, open your schools. Everybody open your schools. Oh, my God. Sleepy Joe Biden wants to impose a four trillion dollar. <laughs> I, I mean, they're wearing masks in the background. That's my favorite right. part. It doesn't exist, but we also don't want to be held liable and have this continue to affect us. So everyone's wearing MAGA masks in the background. Well, I will say this: I do think that there is a a decent reason to believe that. If everyone wore masks in situations where they're in public or they're in an environment where they don't know, you know, um, you know, where they're not at home, where they don't know, you know, basically, you know, you, you know, the people in your home uh, and they're wearing, you know, that they're wearing masks outside as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think we would be in a we would have a lot less issue than we have now. But my understanding is at those rallies is that they are very careful to put people behind him with masks. Right, right. But the people in front of him are not wearing masks. Exactly. And we are still a couple of weeks out, I think, to find out if some of these indoor rallies have in any way contributed to the infection spreading um, and to people's health. I mean, we'll find out. Um, I mean, it's, but it's stunning. 200,000 people have died from this over the course of about six months. And I mean, that's 400,000 annualized. And it is as if like, psh. Doesn't exist. What, so Sam, I, there was an amazing, I, I don't encourage it because it's, it's really hard, but traveling across the country, um, I went through seven red states before I got to New Mexico. And it was very, very difficult. I mean, you get up and you go to what you, you need to eat when you're on the road. You need to go to a gas station. You're wearing your masks. And Oklahoma, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania to me was, which they tried to implement some sort of, uh, uh, you know, stricter guidelines, but it was blocked by a conservative judge. We walked into a restaurant and we said, do you guys have outdoor seating? And they said, no, we're not doing that. And then we walked, we just walked into the restaurant to see for outdoor seating. It was maybe 200 people in that restaurant, no social distancing inside, very nice like resort kind of place is where we could go, the only place open and packed, packed, no masks. Then when I got to Amarillo, Texas, went to this little Mexican place to get food to go and the servers weren't wearing masks. Nobody in that place was wearing masks. I walked out, I was like, I, this is too, 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 too dangerous. Just in and out. So there is an actual denial. Like, it's like you almost have to, it's one thing to, for it to be theoretical and like seeing it on stage with, with Trump and think it's just politicized, but then to see it in just your everyday life, how much people are in denial. And then to, you know, look at the COVID rates. I mean, we started looking at every single city we'd stop and their COVID rates. And we just decided Starbucks is where we're eating for eight days because right. they're forced to wear masks there.